guess so. Okay. So should I bring my jacket or not? Yeah, same. Yeah. Are you sure? Be warm, yeah. Be comfortable. Love you. Love you. Love you. Good luck. Okay, the story kind of has like two beginnings. The first one is that I grew up running in high school and a little bit in college, and everybody would always ask me, when are you gonna run a marathon? Okay, I'm kind of freaking out right now. I'm about to register for the marathon. It's July 11th right now, and the marathon I'm signing up for is October 6th. So it's kind of uh, pushing it. If I don't do this one, then I'm not sure I'll actually do it. So I have to do it. And I always just said, when I'm 26 years old, I'll run 26 miles. That makes sense, right? But then 26 came a lot quicker than I expected. And so that's where the other beginning of the story starts is my friend Chelsea, hey Chelsea, was like, run a marathon, run a marathon with me. And I was like, oh, I don't think so. But I always said that I would do it. And so then I signed up. Turns out there's a lot more to running a marathon than just signing up for it. You have to like, train. But luckily I had already been running a little bit but I still didn't have enough time to get to where I needed to be. We we're living in Kansas City for the summer so I didn't have anyone to train with really so I would just plug in my audiobooks and just run. The times that long runs were the best is when I could convince Jared to run with me. <laughs> Kansas City got me on a six mile run today. I'm dying. She's trying to push the pace on me. No he's making fun of me. No I'm not. He's like whoa I'm dying. Going so slow. He always made it like a lot more fun. This right here is the best view of her butt. What? <laughs> so then comes the morning of the race. I like I remember having a mix of emotions because on one hand I was super stressed and like kind of nervous but on the other hand I knew my only real goal was to finish. Are you feeling ready? <gasps> ah, no. <laughs> Freaking out. Three, two, one. They've told us we're gonna start like five times now. <laughs> About 12 miles in I really started hurting. 12 miles in and my legs are hurting for sure. I think I started too fast, but. I don't know how to explain to you. Like from the waist down, it was just like a struggle to even lift my legs, like starting at 12 miles. And then I remember seeing 16 miles and I was like, I still have 10 miles to go. How am I supposed to do this? 10 miles still, that's nuts. I was like tearing up. I was like, how am I gonna do this? I got to this, like a medical tent thing. They, they have like oranges, water, Gatorade, everything you need. And I'm like losing it and I'm talking to Jared. He's trying to be positive. And then this lady's like, do you want this icy hot? And I was like, I don't know, will it help? So she lathers up my calves and I bumped into a friend and all of a sudden I was like happy again. Like I had this second wind. And I remember getting to this part of the marathon where you can look out and see this canyon. It was so pretty. And even though I still had, I don't know how much longer, but. Just looking out and seeing the view also gave me a little strength to finish, to keep going at least. Then I got to the last two miles and Jared and Corbin were there and hopped in with me, which was super fun. Yeah, Cassidy, one more mile, one more. One more. Crossing the finish line was crazy. Yay! It was just like this moment I had been thinking of for four hours straight. You're just, all you think about is, holy crap, is this gonna be over yet? And when you're finally there, I just like started crying. Everyone was like shaking my hand. And I saw my dad and just reached over the fence and gave him a hug. And my legs were just killing. I was like waddling. I couldn't even walk for like the whole week. This is definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done. But having a goal and accomplishing it was one of the best things, like one of the best feelings I've ever had. And I hope I can inspire you to maybe accomplish your goal or even my daughter, she's about to turn one. I hope she can see this one day and know that she can do hard things. The day of and during the training and everything, I always said, no, this is it. But then after like my soreness started going away and I started thinking that if I had more time to train, I could do it faster. I could kind of see myself doing it again, but I don't know. I guess you'll just have to subscribe to find out. Ollie, hey, hey, are you gonna run a marathon one day, Ollie? Ew, you stink. Ew, stinky. My heart is